Hello, sports fans, and especially baseball fans. Uh, today, I'm here remembering the 1987 season. Uh, as you will well remember, this uh, culminated in the World Series between the 85 win twins and the um, 95 win St. Louis Cardinals, uh, with Minnesota winning the series four games to three, which was quite amazing. Um, because really the Cardinals, you would have had to think the Cardinals would have been heavily favored. Although they were missing their third baseman, I believe, in that, that series. Right now, we're cleaning the grease fryer. We don't have any French fries today. Okay, uh, then just give me a small order of fries, please. Look, Chief, maybe you didn't hear me. I said we don't have any fries today, so how about something else? Um... Uh, their starting third baseman wasn't playing and i forget the guy's name who was playing third but um yeah so they they came in a little bit banged up into the series but still you would have thought that the uh that the cardinals would have beaten them i mean i certainly would have thought that so anyway that's how the world series went um the cardinals actually knocked off the 90 win san francisco giants in the nlcs and Detroit, or I mean uh, Minnesota, as amazing as it was that they beat the Cardinals in the World Series, they also beat the 98-win Detroit Tigers. <laughs> oh, wait, you're serious? In the, um, uh, in the ALCS, and you'll remember the Tigers had won the World Series just back in 1985. So, yeah, the 1987 season. As you remember, the Red Sox have just come off a crushing defeat to uh, the New York Mets in 1986 in the 86 World Series. So they were looking to uh, bounce back. And this was the year that the, uh, the Brewers actually started off by reeling off like 20 straight wins, 22 straight wins, something like that. I mean, they got off to an incredible start in 1987. Um, 1987 was also a big year for home runs. So, yeah, the, yeah, the Brewers, they, they looked like they were unbeatable coming right out of the gates. That was crazy. So the Twins, I mean, 85 wins, and you won the World Series. I don't know. Doesn't work for me. But, I mean, it happened, so I don't know what we can say. But, they, yeah, there you go. They were 56 and 25 in the Metrodome. Uh, I don't know why. Maybe they were built as a team that was, you know, quick on the turf and, uh, hit and run and bunt and uh, run and advance extra bases on hits, you know, I don't know, maybe that lend, lent itself to playing in the dome, but uh, in any case, and there's Paul Molitor of the Brewers. I hope you enjoyed that look back at 1987. Um, some other statistics from 1987 were for the the, my favorite team, the White Sox, they were only uh, 77 and 85. They were led in home runs by Yvonne Calderon, who had 28 home runs, and uh, followed closely by Greg Walker, who had 27. And their best starting pitcher was Floyd Bannister, who was 16 and 11 with a 358 earned run average. Um, some notable things from the season uh, in the Padres' home opener. Uh, the first three hitters hit home runs off of San Francisco starter Roger Mason. That was April 13th. And on April 17th, Mike Schmidt hit his 500th career home run. Um, and the, uh, um, on September 9th, Nolan Ryan struck out 16 San Francisco uh, uh, giant batters 
to uh, get to the um, milestone of 4,500 strikeouts for his career. And on September 22nd, Wade Boggs got his 200th hit of that season to cap a run of three straight seasons in which he had 200 hits. Also notable was that um, in this particular year, it was a homer happy season. 4,458 home runs were hit by all teams in 1987, and that was uh, led by the Baltimore Orioles, who hit 211. So that's my look at 1987. I hope you enjoyed the, um, the look back, um, and I uh, look forward to talking to you in the future about more baseball seasons.